Well, thank you, Mr. Secretary General, for taking the time to uh, be with me as we launch this year's High Level Week at the United Nations. It's a pleasure to meet your key staff. I want to thank you for your continued leadership of the United Nations through the pandemic, as well as navigating the whole raft of global crises and challenges. The strong partnership between the United States and the UN is based on common values and principles, and the, this moment, those bonds are more important than ever. America's back. We believe in the United Nations and its value. Because of the challenges we face today, ending COVID-19, and dealing with the gravest threat to humanity we've ever seen, which is the whole climate crisis we're, going to, we're, we're undergoing, it can only be met with global solutions. No one country can, no 10 countries can do it. And the Secretary General and I share a strong commitment to the principles of human freedom and human dignity on which the UN was founded. I went back and reread the charter. I remember uh, it's, we sometimes forget what the founding principles were, not you, but we, the, the world. Every UN member state, likewise, has an obligation to uphold those fundamental commitments and uh, that we've all made. And normally, the task is already uh, ahead uh, for each one of us, and it's real. But the vision of the United Nations has never been short in ambition, any more than our Constitution. But the ambition matters. Today, governments continue to work to, must continue to work together in a system built on international law to deliver equitable prosperity, peace, and security for everyone. And this is uh, as valuable and necessary today as it was 76 years ago. So I'm looking forward to speaking to the Assembly tomorrow. What a great honor that will be and having our meeting today. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Well, thank you very much, Mr. President. And I, I have to say that I am delighted to have this opportunity to meet you, as you have uh, uh, clearly affirmed a strong commitment of the United States to the UN and to multilateralism, uh, a multilateralism that we also want to see reformed, more effective, uh, more in line with the, uh, the need to solve the dramatic problems uh, of this world. Uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, I'd like to say that the cooperation between the United States and the UN is a fundamental pillar for the work of the UN. Uh, the United States, uh, with its strong commitment to human rights, its strong commitment to peace and security in the world, its strong commitment to development cooperation, and now, uh, with your leadership, a very strong commitment on climate change. The United States represents a fundamental pillar of our activity. And I'd like to reassure you, Mr. President, that we want to deepen that cooperation. We are extremely happy with the, the co coordination we have with the mission, uh, with the, uh, whom we work very, very well. And you can be absolutely sure that uh, we share the same values, the same concerns, and the same commitment to the people of this world, especially to the most vulnerable and to those that uh, have been more dramatically impacted, those by the COVID, the climate, and other challenges that we face together. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We have a great opportunity to uh, 